dearest Liberian people, uh, we all Liberian know those of us in exile, those Liberian living at home, especially those of our people that understand the political situation in the country. We got about 80 percent that do not understand what's going wrong with the country. Uh, they depend on what they hear from people who they put their trust in. You know, our situation in our country is hopeless. There were times in our nation when the war, when the viral conflicts, military coup, assassination of president. Then we saw war. Babies was used to fight against their parents. Uncles against uncles, brothers against brothers. Because all of our young generation was divided among the various seven factions. And whenever they met on the front line, they killed one another. Then after all of those mumbo jumbo came the political situation. Liberia trying to transition from years of war to political settlement where now everybody every world meaning Liberian want to be president for our country we saw the international football star six year presidency we saw a very tedious election uh, which stand to determine the next future of Liberia all of those things happen now people talk killing was a sport at one point in the livelihood of our country and now that we're talking about punishment these are people who punish other people punish other people severely and they turned around and committed the same crime in our country against our people. And now that we're talking about bringing war crime code to investigate corruption in our country and those who kill innocent people. Every tribe in our country have their own bad days. Suppose the 16 tribe get up and say they want a revenge for those who killed the people. You know, war is war. The conflict came. Nobody supported any president, especially the Dole administration for the kind of killing the dead against the Nima people. But in the midst of all of that, innocent people also got killed. Nobody was right for killing innocent. I went around in Liberia where he went over then. Sometimes you find 10 bodies, you can't find a head. Sometimes you find 15 heads. 11 heads, nobody. We saw a time in Lutheran church, people went into the church and we saw what happened. Their man, late brother, was in our church and he escaped across the bridge. Yes, he dressed like an old man because he already had beers all over. He dressed like an old man walking with King. That's how he got saved to cross from Sinko, from Lutheran church. Where he ran away from, across to Dwala. 
too many things happening in our country. We are coming to the point where we need to bring Liberia to make Liberia stable. Our country can be people just go and take the country money anyhow and justify it and take the same money to defend themselves against the people who own the money. We can't have our country where anybody just can kill people, grab people and kill them and it means nothing. We cannot have that kind of country. We can't afford it. So people were happy to commit crime. Now we're talking about investigating. Like I always said, there were times that people, everybody, the same group, everybody was on Taylor, even though it was Sierra Leone. That, 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 that put charges against Taylor for taking war to the country. Even though there were two different factions that were formed in, in Sierra Leone and came over to Liberia and they killed Liberia as well. But yet, Taylor was arrested for the crime that he committed. So in that time, for us to get to all the people to answer questions to the crime they, connect, they committed against our country. And now they're backing off trying to frustrate the effort of the World Crime Court. But I want to tell you guys, those of you who have come and sitting down and trying to stop the World Crime Court, I just want to tell you people, in, in the two houses, those who are there blocking the World Crime Court from coming in Liberia, I want to tell you today, the blood of all the Liberian people that wasted innocent blood is on your hands. Again, those of you who are trying to stop the World Crime Court from coming, I come to tell you here today that the Liberian people, innocent people that were killed, children, we, we on Fenner campus when we were there. There was a child that was rescued by one, not rescued, that rescued by wherever they went to his family house in Pinsville and massacred and killed all of them. The, the little boy was sitting in the middle of the floor and the angel of God were around that child and the rebel, one of the rebel took him and said, this one will be my child. And he brought him on the campus. It was Bishop Reed team that was taking care of that boy. I just forgot his name. He got the hill. I saw him put a brown camp one time. It looked that he recognized me. He saw me. He got away. We protected that boy. And that child living today. They killed all his people in Pinsville. MPFL rebels. And we rescue him, working with Bishop Reed, the team that he had, to help government officials and army people to escape from being killed. We show them how to discard themselves, not to answer any question, even people point them out, they should deny it. We show them how to escape. That's what we're doing, how to honor ground, to save government officials that were being killed by the rebels. We saw it. So, you, those of you who are trying to stop the world crime code, all the librarians that died during, during the war, the blood of those librarians is on your hands. And if you stop the world crime code, that your life, your generation, jihad, you kill other people's children, you cause other people's children to die, family to die, and you're stopping the war crime code, the blood of the Liberian people will be on your hands. You all think that Joseph Boaka, you're doing it too? The old man already president, and he will succeed. You don't waste your time. You all have six years to fix your own country as additional Liberian. But what you did, you all kill your, your, the highly educated additional boys. You all kill six of them, murder them, slaughter them because they had secret, financial secret. You all kill them for it. Then you all come and sit down to stop World Crime Code. That World Crime Code will take place. 
there will be we will influence the international community <clears throat> you don't know international politics the blood of the people who die innocent people who die in our country is crying in the wilderness those of you i want you to share the video so you can hear it that those who try to stop the world crime code from coming the blood of the thousands of people that die in that country will be on your hands and if you're not careful your punishment will be worse the worst thing for a man to do for you to be living and know that you'll die slowly if you're nowhere know you'll take your hands from that World crime could let it come and people come and defend themselves. Me, I stupid man, I just run my mouth for nothing. But I know God. I know how God can act. So you're taking for joke. You're talking for joke to kill up people, massacre people, kill people in all kind of terrible manner. Now the time for judgment. Then you want to stop it. By the blood of the people that die in that country, that the world crown code one who can investigate. You stop it, the labyrinth put blood in your hand. Just compare one person, you want your blood, just the little blood of God to thousands of people's blood, and see which one got more power that will overpower those that destroy them, that cause their lives. So I start by this evening just to. Talk to you people, let you people know. I'm not saying that you're you're, you're saying I'm speaking politics because y'all be talking about politics where you play, and y'all be pick up one by one. Y'all will lose one by one. All the people kill and trying to stop the world crime code from coming, you will lose. I'm not telling you how you lost. You know because you you are creating your own trap you know how many children crying today how many children who 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 who, who never saw the parent who heard the story of how the parent was killed you know you try to start world crime code for coming to liberia do you know we sat down several people said that said that oh they inducted the, the, the tailor for bringing war and he is in jail to pay for the crime that he committed we got more people who created, who committed the same crime that need to follow and they will. I don't care how long it take. So, if you listen to me today, let us begin to pray for our country. Let us pray that anything that God can do to bring peace to that country, let us do it. I know what he did for the children of Israel. Because I decided to Dedicate first and second king. Well, all of those kind of things, the same thing that happened in Liberia, it happened first and second king. So take your time and read first and second king. I'm not just running my mouth, <laughs> preaching the Bible. What happened? What God did when people felt that they could just destroy people and kill other people for nothing innocently? When God got ready, in first and second king, you read the whole story. The amount of leaders that came and died in the process because they failed to listen to God, including Elijah himself that God appointed. No, not Elijah or, or King Ahab. Elijah was the prophet that was appointed by God to go and talk to the people. And they didn't listen. God commanded him to lead the war against the demons that came and took over the promised land. And they cleansed the primary land, what was cleansed, was cleansed with blood that were commanded by God Himself. And that God will come, will appear for Liberia and those innocent people that was killed in that country. The indictment will take place. Those who caused people to die in that country, it will happen any kind of way. You're making noise because you don't know what the international politics is. That's why you're making noise. You keep making noise. Let's see what happened. So those of you who are doing in my room and all my friends, 
I share this video. Let me talk, I just talking to those. Um, this particular video is strictly for those who trying to stop the war crime code from coming in Liberia. And they fortunately, or fortunately for them, they were all part of the killing that the mistake we made because our people not educated. They don't know. They persuade them to go and vote for people who destroy their lives, the, the life of their children and everything that is sitting there. The few people that are in the two houses that we know, that got hard for the country, we know them. We are not calling them. Everybody know them. They say, by your fruit, thou shall know thee. By thy fruit, thou shall know thee. So we know the fruit of those in the two houses. You sit there and think say because CDC that 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 that, that your birth right to come and destroy and kill people and ruin the country and come by sin and say you come to cause politics to stop world crime code. Let us see you and God who has the power over Liberia. It was God that created that country. And the people brought the word of God in that country and it's still there. And that word of God. The few people who pray, one, God only asked for two or three. Two or three, that what God asked for. To turn to him to pray, and he will answer. He didn't ask for more than two. One, two, three. Two, two or three who come in my name. And the few that will go in God's name to make sure that I work around God is established. If he established, God would God would send his his snapper, snapper, spiritual snapper that will stand for distance and snap, pop, 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 and take up people. The good thing about a spiritual snapper, you can't hear the sound of one sound. But you just see people disappear. They just set people go to bed, they can't get up. That will happen. Take it for fun. You did, you did killing for fun. And now time to judge. Then you want to create more problems for the people. But God bless you. God bless our nation. And may God bless the heart of those who lost their family members. Children who never saw their parent today. Who heard the story about what happened to their parent. May God strengthen them. And make them strong and save our country from the hands of the prosecutors of their own nation. God bless you. Share this video and we'll meet on the block again. Blessing, blessing. Let us pray for our country. In Jesus' name, Amen.